These are all the things you should know before putting on braces. Number one. I'm your girl, the Niger Dentist. And if you're new here, welcome to my page. This is an oral family. We talk about anything that has to do with the teeth and we would like you to stick around. So make sure you tap on that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. So I will see you in this video. So once you have seen your dentist and he or she has decided that you have to get braces, there are several steps and several procedures that goes on before you actually get the actual braces. So I have decided to group these processes or these stages into like two stages. I made up the two stages, but then it's just so you can understand it's easier. So the first stage I called it the investigative stage. And in this stage, your main reason for wanting to get the braces is readdressed. Like we reconfirm why you are actually getting these braces, what you intend to correct and what you intend to see after you're done with the braces. Because, you know, customer's feedback. We don't want you to be a grumpy customer by the time we're done giving you the braces. So we want to actually achieve what you intend to come for. Because in some cases, let's say, for example, someone who has diastema, that's a space tooth, and doesn't want to close it fully. And then the dentist decides to close it fully. Of course, customer, which is the patient, would not be happy. So we want to know exactly what you want. I will have it written down, then you sign it like, okay, this is what I would like to achieve at the end of this procedure. And then after that, what goes on is we try to decide, we try to determine and ask you whether you have a habit that needs to be corrected. And habits can be corrected by giving a habit breaker, which can be incorporated into the braces as well. But it needs to be determined whether there's an habit that has to be broken. So that the whole essence of this is you don't want to give braces and then it corrects the teeth and then you go back to that habit and you have like a relapse. Could make sense, right? Yep. So after this, then we take an impression of your mouth. Like this is like a measurement. I call it the 3D photocopy of the mouth. So you we take an impression of your mouth and then we'll pour that impression into a cast which serves as our study model and our working model. This model is what we look at. Like when you're not there, we have your mouth with us. So we don't need you to permanently put your mouth in our office. We, you can go because we already have a 3D replica of your mouth. So that's what we study and try to use to determine some changes that has to occur. And then this study model is also used to like select the bands that are going to be put on the teeth. So when you come for like another appointment or maybe the same appointment anyway, you <clears throat> then you have your oral photographs taken. There's a way this is taken. They use a mouth mirror. It's put into the mouth and then the camera snaps into that mirror, not directly at your mouth. Check it. So the pictures are taken from several angles so that we can actually get the overall view of how your mouth looks like. After doing all these investigations, which also in, includes the uh, x-ray that is taken, which is the x-ray that covers the overall view of the mouth, that is taken uh, along with the photographs, along with the study model, we study, and then we develop a treatment plan. So this takes me into the next stage, which I call the pre-installation stage. At this stage, we explain to the patient what the expected outcome is, the estimated duration, how long we expect you, or an estimate of how long we expect you to wear the braces. This is because different people actually come to the clinic with different conditions. So the number of months or years that you have to wear the braces for varies per individual so it's important to actually prepare the patient to let them know you're going to wear it for this duration it's better in my in my own opinion this is what i do i'd rather tell you that you wear it for more than you would like i had a few months thereabouts so that even if it's if it's uh if you finish before then your expectation would not like you would not be expecting to finish at a particular time and then it's later than that that can be actually traumatic to the patient like the patient might feel bad about that 
So once the estimated duration is given, you take consent again. You take consent as many times as possible. Make sure you take consent from patients. So once you have the patient's consent, then you can go ahead to do a cleaning because we're giving the braces, which will definitely cause food retention and all other things around it. So before we even start the process, let's get the mouth clean. And then during the process as well, we might have to clean the teeth with, bra with the braces in place. But before you even start at all, we will send you for scaling and polishing to get the mouth clean before anything else. So after all this is achieved, then the next thing is for the dentist to actually put what we call a spacer between your teeth. This is put to actually create space. Like it's put in place to create spaces between the teeth. And all these are only done in cases where like you do, you, this procedure is straightforward like this. When the patient does not have any carious lesion or anything like that, if the patient has carious lesion, all those things have to be treated and be sure that the carious has been arrested before we proceed to give the braces. Back to the spacer. You put in the spacer, in most cases, you will let the patient wear it for like, three to one week, three days to one week, there about, about like one week, and then the patient comes back for the full installation of the braces. In this video, I'm only telling you things that will happen before you get the braces. So those are the things that would happen. And with the spacer in, in place, I need to tell you that the spacer might be a bit uncomfortable. It's like having something wedged in between your teeth. So it might be a bit uncomfortable. Some people might feel a bit of discomfort or slight pain prior to the installation of the braces but it's not anything that would harm you in any way watch out for my next video where i show you the step-by-step -step, uh stages of how braces is actually placed on the teeth is it stapled is it gummed is it glued how is it put all right watch out for my next video guys and if you have watched this video so far thank you for watching my video i am really grateful make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't drop a comment in the comment section telling me if you know if you intend to use braces if you have used braces before if you went through all the stages when you did that how you found the stages were they stressful did you find them traumatic were they stressful how was the braces journey and if you if you've not used any braces also leave in the comment section let me see the number of people or number of my subscribers who haven't used braces let's let's get talking guys I'll meet you in the comment section. All right, guys, till my next video, make sure you put a smile on somebody's face. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.